Hello viewers, Ree here. This tutorial is about how to make a puff sleeve. Here you can see I'm going to cut only one sleeve because one is already ready. Okay, this is the normal sleeves draft I have put here. The sleeve is 9 inches long but I'm extending it about 10 inches more from the shoulder side, should I say. We are going to trace from this side as it is. But on this extended length, I am marking in the middle. This is just for a reference to draw the curves equally. See, this is the stretch shape of the shoulder. Don't forget the seam allowance when cutting and your tracing and cutting part is done. Next is making pleats. Fold the fabric upward. It all depends on you how big the pleat you want and how close to each other. All you need to do is to maintain the same distance and same size, also the same direction. Here two pleats are done. Now I'm moving on to the third pleat. You can see the same pleats on the same distance. So carry on until you reach the halfway. So this is the half done. What we're going to do next is make the same pleats on the other side. This half should be identical to the other half. Also, the place should be folded upward like this. And this is what you'll get at the end. See, when folded in half, the both sides pleats are very next to each other. But before moving on to the next step, at this point, check the measurement of your this finished sleeve. Just in case, you might need to change the size or width of your pleats. Here in my case you can see the size is perfect uh, and this fabric will be trimmed off after stitching. So this is time to attach the sleeve with your dress. Here you can see one sleeve I have already attached and the other one I am going to attach in front of you. This is how it will be attached so let's start sewing. It is up to you if you want to keep the pins on or you can take them off uh, one by one as you sew along. When you finish it will be like this. Here you can say the job is done, you can finish the rest of the sleeve but uh, I'm going to add some elastic as I promised. Before that I have sewed the edge and let's make hem of the sleeve. But if you want to put the elastic first you can. Anyways the hem is done, let's move on to the elastic part. It is all up to you how long you want it. I'm keeping it only 5 inches long because I'm not doing it from top to bottom. Okay then, after cutting 2 strips of elastic for both sleeves, I'm marking the sleeve on 2 inches from the bottom hem and 3 inches from the top. So 2 and 3, 5 inches and 5 inches of elastic will make a 10 inches long sleeve at the end. So here the mark is, I am going to pin one end of the elastic on this mark and the other end of the elastic on the other mark. So it's stretching like this. Time to sew, select the zigzag stitches. You can't have the pin on so put the needle down to lock the elastic at its place. And to keep the elastic straight, I am using the crease on the sleeve as a guideline. Remember, don't stretch the elastic at this point. First do the back and forth stitches to secure the elastic. Now hold from the back and stretch the elastic as you sew along. And don't forget to keep the elastic straight on the crease. Also don't pull the fabric from the back of the foot otherwise you will break the needle. Let your machine teeth fit the fabric. Holding from the back of the foot is only to keep sewing in a straight line. When you reach to the other end take out the pin and sew one more time back and forth to secure the elastic on this end. Let me lift up the foot to show you its finished look. See, it's stretching effortlessly and it looks very neat. So this is how it looks at this point. Let's flip the wrong side out and sew from the sides. Finally, your sleeves are done. Now you can finish your dress the way you want. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.